You young people, I believe, have struck the greatest hour in human history. The greatest hour in the 2,000 years since Christ died and rose again. The year is 1918, and Emily Dick steps off a train in Columbia, South Carolina. She is returning home to her friends, family, church, and community. While away, the Lord had kept Columbia on her heart and in her prayers. After five years, she is reunited with her circle of praying women. The praying women bow their heads to call upon the name of the Lord, praying for their city again and again. In the same year, Dr. R.C. McQuilkin and his wife Marguerite are traveling the country, teaching and speaking in churches across the U.S. His call to ministry is being tested after plans to serve overseas have been suddenly delayed. McQuilkin is seeking his next step. Our Lord Jesus Christ. While speaking in the Southeast, he meets the young woman named Emily, who asks him, would you come and head up our work in Columbia? And I want to take a few moments this morning as the first part of your first full day of students at Columbia Bible College, a welcome in the name of the Lord. Columbia Bible School, later Columbia Bible College, and now Columbia International University, was born in 1923. We can all trust the Lord and God is working. From these first steps follow 100 years of men and women seeking to follow Jesus and being trained in a biblical worldview. 100 years that sends 24,000 alumni into the world who want to know Him and make Him known. Lord, we do want to be true to Your Word, to Your last great commission. It's the generations of missionaries who are serving around the world. It's the pastors who are shepherding and caring for their congregations. It's the professors who are teaching and mentoring students. It's the alumni who are ministering in the marketplace. It's the medical personnel who tirelessly tend to the ill. It's CIU's student athletes, our champions of character, using sports as a ministry on the field and off the field. Look what Jesus says in John chapter four. I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. I have a need to be in the will of God. The legacy of CIU is the faithfulness of our faithful God showing up in our lives every day for 100 years. Is there anything our God can't do? If we're gonna transform the spiritual landscape. We need folks in the churches, but we need you in the marketplace. The world will notice CIU. From a young woman named Emily, to the thousands of students who have carried the gospel across the planet, to you, here today, we thank God for 100 years of his provision and power, and we are ready for the journey ahead as we step into the next 100 years in his steps. May everything that we seek to do, may it be to glorify your son, Jesus Christ.